Hello friends, welcome back to another video. Today I will be providing you the solution of our Arcades Level 1 Managing Resources and Data in the Clouds Lab solution that is Cloud IAM Quick Start. This lab ka solution I will provide kar raunga. Before starting the solution, I simply want to inform you that I already uploaded the solution of the first lab. You can check the solution check kar sakte by clicking on the I button. And if you haven't enrolled yet, you can enroll. How to enroll, kaise enroll karna hai, wo bhi video I button. Pe click karke mil jayegi. Okay. I will be providing you all remaining lab solution. Every lab ka solution you will get. So, my channel ko subscribe karke rakhe, taki koi bhi aap notification miss na kare. Okay. So, now without wasting the other time, start this lab, open it and wait for the page to be loaded. Once the page gets loaded, simply click on the start lab button and wait for the credentials to be appear. These credentials are required to log in into our Google Cloud Console. Okay, we will log in into the Google Cloud Console. Mein log in karenge, wait for the credentials. Ka. So once you get the credentials, simply right click on open Google Console. Right click on open it in private window or in incognito mode. Otherwise, you will face certain issues. Incognito mode mein hi open ki jega, okay? And the email ID will be automatically pasted up. We simply need the password, okay? So wait for it. You will automatically see an email ID here. Okay, so in case if you don't get the email ID, simply come back to the lab and copy this username one. So copy the ID, come back to here, paste it here, and click on the next button. And for the password, come back to the lab, copy this password, and come here, paste the password here, click on the next button, wait for the welcome message to be arrived, click on the I understand button, and we get logged in into our Google Cloud console. Okay. After that, we need to accept some terms and condition. A pop-up will arise. Click on this agree and continue button. Click on this agree and continue button. Okay. Now, first of all, we need to create a new bucket. So, for that, uh, first of all, hover upon cloud storage and click on the buckets. Open the buckets. We need to create a new bucket. Okay. So, wait for the buckets to be open up. Once the page gets loaded, simply click on the create button to create a bucket. We need some credentials to create a bucket. First of all, open the page. You can cut this tutorial. We don't want this because you have tutorial chal raha hai. Okay, so for the bucket name, we need to come back to the lab and copy this project ID. Come back to here, paste it here under this panel. Scroll down, click on this create button and we are done with this. Hamari ab, uh, click on the confirm button and uh, our bucket hai, wo create hona start ho jayegi. Wait for this to be get loaded. Now as the page get loaded, what we need to do in this task, now we need to create a text file in our computer. Okay, so go to the desktop. Hum desktop open kar lete hain apna, aur wahan par hume ek sample text file create karne hogi. Okay, to navigate to the desktop, you can also create anywhere when you, wherever you want to create the file. Simply right click here and open uh, create a new file. Actually, create a new text document. Okay, create it and name it as sample. Okay, sample.txt. Hit enter button. Simply drag and drop it over the buckets. Yahan par dalake hume isse drag and drop karke copy paste karna hai and wait for this for the file to get uploaded. You can see the uploaded is completed now. Now you need to go to the IAM panel. Okay, so for that click on this navigation button. Jaise aapki file upload ho jaye, uske baad hume navigation button pe click karna hai. Click on this API and services. No, actually IAM and admin. Over upon IAM and admin and click on this IAM button and our IAM panel gets uh, opened. Okay. So while it's open, what you opening, what you need to do, simply come back to the lab. Jab tak ye open ho raha hai, lab pe wapas aayenge. And uh, see, uh, your username must be starting with something. मतलब username जो है उसको किससे start हो रहा है वो check करना है. My username is starting with six one zero e. So आपको ये check करना है कि आपका username किससे start होना है, because हमें इसको locate करना होगा. Okay. So my username is starting with six one zero e seven. So I will come back to here and wait for the page to be loaded. पहले page पूरा load होने देंगे. So once the page get loaded, you will see a list of admins of the principal. So scroll down, keep scrolling, and locate the second user. That is my this one student zero three six one zero e. My in my case, this is the second user name. So I will click on this pencil icon. You need to locate your second user name and click on the pencil icon. Then you need to delete this role and click on the save button. Okay. Once you are done with that, simply come back to the lab and click on the check my progress for first and second task. Scroll down, keep scrolling, keep scrolling. Keep scrolling till you see the button of check my progress. Click on the check my progress button. You will get the green tick in this task. You can see we get the green tick. Scroll down. Keep scrolling. Keep scrolling. Click on this check my progress. You will definitely get a green tick because we remove the rule. Okay, so you can see we get the green tick. Now, now let's head towards the next task. Now for the next task, we need to create a new principal or you know, we need to get, grant the access for the second username. Okay, so we will copy the second username. Come back to here. Click on scroll up. First of all, scroll up. And click on this grant access button. Now we need to add the principal here, and the principal will be our second username. Paste it here. 
in the new uh, principal section. Now for the selector rule, type in the filters that uh, object view. Uh, let me check what we need to type. First of all, let me check. It's a storage object viewer. Okay, so in the filter type storage object viewer. Okay, wait for it to get up here. Let's see. Yes, I scroll down and you will see this is the storage object viewer role that we need to add. Click on this and after that, click on the save button. First of all, uh, click on the save button and we are done with this task also. Once the policies get updated, simply come back to the lab, scroll down, keep scrolling till you see this check my progress. Click on this, you will get the green tick. If you don't get the green tick in the first try, don't worry. Try to two to three times within the gap of one to two minutes, you will definitely get a green tick. If you don't get a green tick in the first time, you will get a green tick. With this, congratulations, your lab is completed. Click on the end lab button, click on the submit button, give the star rating that you want to give. And if you can also leave any additional comment if you want, click on the submit button. Now come back to the main page to verify whether we get the green tick or not. We main page to the main page. If we get the green tick on the lab, we get the solution correct. Our lab is completed. Okay, so scroll down, open it and you will see a green tick beside our lab. It means he successfully completed the lab in 7 minutes. Okay, so this is the lab solution. If you like the video, make sure you hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. If you have any query, you can ask me in the comment box or on the telegram group. Okay, so that's it for this video. Thank you very much. Goodbye.